y'all remember that knife I found? Explorer in Alabama wants me to try to restore that. I think I can. It's a good thing the uh, blade guard is still intact. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get this end piece off. And I don't know what kind of handle. I know it's not the normal leather handle that they uh, insert squares and then you shave it off. So this might have to be wood. I might have to cut in shape, but we're going to see if we can try to clean it a little bit. I think what I'm going to try to do is get as much of the dirt off first and then um, might try to find something to soak it in. But I'm thinking if I, it's real good and sturdy, so man, it's got a sharp point too. I'm thinking maybe if I clean this off and put uh, a soft wire brush and sandpaper, I think I can get all this off. And look at all that rust. Lots and lots of rust. Rust and dirt. I'm almost afraid that's not going to. If I do get that brought down, got a feeling I'm going to lose a lot of metal. Who knows? This here I can use a brush, wire brush, and I think, I think I can work that out. Looks like a small piece got knocked off. Got a lot of work to do on this thing. If this is going to be our project. We're going to try to bring this knife back to life, hopefully. Okay, we don't have no SP11. And that's a liquid preservative for metal parts. But vinegar, the acid in it is real good in stripping rust. So, we covered it up. I cleaned it a little bit. I got the guard, blade guard looking a little better. And there's some of the end. It still needs cleaning. I was just scraping around on it. But we're going to let that soak for a while. we got to go somewhere in just a short. So... We're going to let that soak in that vinegar. Probably go and after a while I'll try to take that work on that rust. Maybe get a little little grinder. I think that's going to have to be a wood handle because the other knives had a small shaft and this would unscrew and I don't see no way to get that off and uh, and you would slide those square thick pieces of leather and epoxy leather epoxy leather and epoxy to get it built up then you put that on a belt sander and shape it so this apparently was some kind of a wood handle and this is gonna be interesting trying to put something on that it's got a lot of rust built up. Apparently that's been in there longer than I think it's been. It's amazing. It still has that real fine point. You know, 
and that's pretty darn sharp. And I don't want to lose that, so I've got to really be careful. We're going to let that bad boy soak and see if it'll help break some of that rust off. Okay, guys, we're back. I've been trying to clean on this thing. I'll tell you, either this knife is older than I think, or it just really went through some, some damage. But as you can see, it's got a lot of pock marks. I missed part of the blade right there broke off. You can see those pot marks. It's got a good, pretty good little spine on the back. But those sides, there's a real bad pot mark right there. And I just didn't want to lose that tip, man. That tip is just like, like crazy sharp. Got the handle a little bit and got that kind of clean. Try to get that under the light. And uh, the blade guard, I got that polished a little bit. Do have a, a number. This is L. It's like L39 right here. But there's just no way I can I can sand and grind that down there wouldn't be nothing left of it so I'm gonna have to leave this the blade like it is I think I'm still gonna try to make a handle <laughs> I mean, it look kinda of weird but you know maybe try to fix a handle that kinda of depicts age too I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do that but uh, that's that knife I found in the in the woods it's just it's ate up like something bad. I mean, I've got a lot of meat on this handle. That could probably almost been brought down to, to smooth that out, but it would still lose a lot. A lot of meat on that. But here, got the little, little thumb grooves right there. That's pretty cool. There's just no way I can I can ground that down because that's really boogered. See, actually, there's like uh, right there in front of my thumb. <laughs> there's like a little hole. It's got it's got holes through it where that rust is eating through. Apparently, that boy's been in the ground for quite a while. Like I said, this blade guard, it really looked rough, and I I got a Dremel tool and a wire brush, and I managed to get that polished. Got that butt piece there. Got it cleaned up a little bit. Well, just kind of letting you know. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as, uh, as a handle. I don't... I think I got something in mind, and... Uh, but I think that's all I'm going to do on this knife. But as I decide and advance on this and, and maybe try to do something with the handle, I'll uh, update. But Exploring Alabama was wanting me to try to refurbish this. And buddy, that's... That blade, that's about as far as I can go, like your uh, Burnside carbine. If you try to go any more, you're just going to lose too much metal. And I don't want to lose no more of that, so that's about as far as I'm going with this. But EA, this is about where I've gotten so far.
but I think I'm gonna try to fix up some kind of handle maybe try to maybe uh, some wood and maybe burn it and put that little darkened on it might look kind of cool might kind of go along with the age of the knife who knows all right thanks for watching and uh, stay updated and stay notified we'll see what we can do with this later on thank you for watching joanne nice is bye